All right, in just 18 days, the largest event that happens in downtown Greensboro will be underway. The North Carolina Folk Festival. We're talking three days featuring more than 300 artists on multiple stages with continuous performances. And that's not all. There will also be food, beverages, and fun celebrating diverse cultures. The festival markets itself as one of the fastest growing free festivals in the southeastern United States. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews joins us live from the newsroom after taking a, deep, deep, a deeper dive behind the scenes. Daryl, how much more work's left to be done before opening day? Yeah, Neil, there are still deliveries that got to come in in the coming weeks. This will, they will start closing some streets to get the stages built, and they plan to work up to the minute of the event. The president and CEO of Folk Festival, Amy Grossman, tells me since 2015, the festival has been the city's fastest growing destination event, attracting more than 100,000 people. She also says volunteers are still needed. The thing that gives me the most joy each and every year is sitting backstage and watching people dance, enjoy family, enjoy community in a shared experience of just celebrating and honoring uh, people's cultural heritage. Seven years of bringing people from across the country to downtown Greensboro for a weekend of cultural food, music, and fun. And it all starts right here in the Greensboro Cultural Center on the fourth floor inside this conference room. We curate a program that is intentionally designed to be very diverse, to try to pick a lot of different performance traditions so that people attending can see something they might be familiar with, but also try out something new. Amy Grossman, president and CEO of North Carolina Folk Festival, says planning takes a full year after the festival to begin working with local businesses and city officials to plan the next year's event. We work uh, very closely with the city of Greensboro to strategically place things that align with a time timeline that they develop uh, for closing the streets for the festival. You know, to do a festival like this and allow people to walk in the streets, we have to close the streets to vehicular traffic. And this blueprint map shows shaded areas of where the stages will go and how much space for the audience. This year, street closures will consist of parts of Market Street, Davy Street, Friendly Avenue, Bellmead Street, and Elm Street. This team of four full-time employees strategically work, measure, and map out the closures, where to place the vendors, and even signs allowing foot traffic to flow with ease but this bunch is only a piece to the puzzle as the days get closer to showtime and then we employ probably around a hundred seasonal contractors who do everything from you know work that spans six to eight months to maybe three months down to people who we just hire to come in and work the event weekend itself building stages like the old courthouse stage the lawn stage on Bell meeting Green Street the cone health stage at LaBauer Park you guessed it, right inside LaBauer Park. And of course, the city stage, which will be on Market and Davy Street. But with so much going on, where do you even park? Grossman says the festivals worked with the city to get a $10 flat rate parking cost in four parking decks around the festival, along with street parking, but all on a first come, first serve basis. And all the parking options are really close to the festival, so you can park and you're right in the thick of everything. You can get to the stages, get some beverages, check out some food, some of the stores downtown. Now, some acts that will be hitting the stages will be uh, Sam Bush, the founder of Newgrass Music, which is a mixture of bluegrass and contemporary music. Sunday will be the rock band Future Birds, and Saturday night, North Carolina native George Clinton and the Parliament Funkadelic on the city stage. Now, this year's folk festival is from Friday, September 9th until September 11th. Daryl, thank you.